Alright, I just got a used Leica D Lux 4 camera and uh, it's a small compact camera. You can look it up on uh, YouTube. There's plenty of uh, videos showing it. But uh, anyway, I got it at an incredible price. If you knew how much these things sold for new, uh, <laughs> it's unbelievable price. Um, the lens uh, is probably the best lens you'll ever get. And I'm just running a test right now. I've got it set up on my furthest away from me mount. And I've got this mount here. I'm going to put it on this one in a second. But uh, I just wanted to see how the video comes out and if it'll even work with my uh, video program. Not all videos work with a program. So anyway, just uh, testing it out and uh, seeing if I'm going to take it back or not. But uh, I was in trying to get my Canon fixed, but it was going to probably end up costing me more than this camera cost me to buy. And uh, so I just uh, was looking around and most prices were in the $400, $500 range for small cameras. And this was below that. And uh, in fact, about half that. So they normally sell for $700 these uh, cameras uh, new and when I saw that price I just uh, jumped at it. Anyway, um, so we'll see how it works out. Uh, this is uh, Sam. He's a commissioned piece by an artist friend of mine. And uh, let me remount the camera a little closer because I've got it zoomed in all the way and I'm not that far back. It doesn't have a great zoom which is okay. It's, the lens is amazing. I, I read one review about it and he said the only drawback on the camera is the price. <laughs> My dad had a Leica when he was uh, in the Navy back in the 40s and, and 50s. I can remember him taking pictures of us uh, with his, his Leica and it was had a, a carrying case that was made out of leather and it was brown leather and and he'd pull it up and it would cover the whole thing. I, I remember that camera clearly and uh, if my dad thought a Leica was good enough for him, I figure it's good enough for me. One of the things I really like about this camera is the fact that I can put a mounting plate on my base and still I'm able to, I'm trying to do this single handedly here, I'm able to open the compartment with the battery and the card, which is an SD card, and you don't have to take the plate off. Every camera I've ever bought, except for my big Canon, um, you have to take the damn plate off before you can open the camera, which I, I've always wondered why do they design it that way, knowing that people are going to be using the camera on a uh, tripod. Just never made sense to me. The only drawback is it doesn't have a pop-out screen or a flip screen. That's the only drawback I can see. You can you can shoot uh, manually. Uh, everything you know. It's but the thing is, is the lens. It's a Leica lens. I mean, you don't get better than that. And it comes with its own carrying case hard carrying case uh, and it has a little belt loop that you can carry it on your belt but uh, I mean it's just amazing and I got it for less than what I would have gotten a cheap new camera for which is even more amazing as most of you know I use two cameras uh, at the same time from different angles and uh, I've got my Canon up there and my new uh, Leica here. And uh, I just noticed something I really like. Every time I turn on that camera, it comes out with the, the uh, light setting right on the middle. I set this for the, the lighting situation here and set it, oh, maybe two or three notches 
uh, darker so it would get the uh, clay uh, show it the best possible light and when I turned off the camera and then turned it back on it was right back on the same spot I put that marker on but if I do that on that camera the Canon um, <laughs> it uh, resets itself every time I turn off the camera so I like that feature well, anyway I'm recording now and I'm just I, I can see that it's in view only if I get back here and look that's the only thing I don't like about it but you know I'll live with that um, here I am putting together the video the, the telling is is whether it will work uh, with this program Sony no longer uh, supports or helps you with uh, movies Vegas movie studio HD platinum 10 uh, you have to buy their new program and I, I'm just refusing to do that so anyway I'm just uh, what I'm doing right now is editing the video that I just shot one of the things I really like about this camera is the fact that I can put a mounting plate on my base and still I'm able to I'm trying to do this single handedly here I'm able to how do you do this? oh I know open the compartment with the battery and the card with and uh, continue typing in you see all the stuff I have to go through to do one of these videos <laughs> alright the video Place it because I forgot that centered, and I don't want it to be that bright, so I'm going to take down the video just a little bit. There we go. <coughs> Stretch it out to cover the uh, D so that you know which one is with the uh, like and which one isn't. Anyway, just uh, testing it out. Now, pardon the unsteadiness of the camera, but uh, this is the, the camera I've been using for the last, about the last five years. It's a Canon uh, SX30IS. But you'd still spend almost 500 bucks for one of these. And it has the flip out, uh, you know, uh, viewer, which is nice. And, uh, all right, this is what I'm talking about, the mounting plate. This is for the tripod. Now, I tried this on this this uh, uh, Leica that I'm shooting this video with right now. Um, and I could open up the plate, but see, or open up the uh, battery compartment. But see, half the battery compartment is covered by this plate. It's just ridiculous. Cameras don't get designed for modern-day usage. Anyway. All right, everybody, um, if you see the video, you'll know it came out okay. If you don't see the video, you'll know that, well, you won't know anything because you won't see it. All right, good night.